You're watching Chaotic TV. Hey guys, welcome back to Chaotic TV. We're with the Warhounds again, this time on Whirlwind uh, for Team Acer versus MVP in the Acer Team Story Cup. For the host company, in the bottom left, we have the Red Terran. He is MMA. And his opponent uh, from Team MVP, this is Super, playing as the Blue Protoss with Blue Terran workers. Oh god. And the Warhounds of MMA's base feel right at home, putting that supply depot right close to the mineral line so he loses no mining time whatsoever. And he feels pretty confident he doesn't have to wall off against Protoss. Also, you know we're on Whirlwind, so... Yeah? Yeah, we're on Whirlwind. You said it. It, it interrupted my thought. And then, uh, my thought was I wanted to see <laughs> Proxy Marauders. Away. I wanted to see Proxy Marauders, but you can really only do that on a two-person map. That's a shame. Yeah, Proxy Marauders really got famous on, what was that, dual site? It was forever yeah, ago. a long time ago. Current score, please, for Pedroca. I think that is actually... Um, I'm pretty sure it's one and zero for MVP. I'm not, I, you know, just just yeah. there is. Everybody wants to be helpful, Eclipse. Come on, don't don't knock on him. Double gas coming out of uh, super. So Sorry, I'm gonna go for to. a little bit of. <laughs> I know. Oh, you did it too, you jerk! <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Ah. <laughs> uh, M MMA. Uh, excuse the me. joys of replays. Going back. Yeah, how are you an observer? That I don't get. Um, <laughs> you are too. Tridos only one. Oh, there to goes Tridos. Yeah, he just no wanted to give Tridos. He wanted to say, "Hey, it's one oh one oh for MVP," and he wasn't the first one to do it. So he's like, "Screw this, I'm out." I wanted to help him, but yeah. you guys did it first. <laughs> Screw you guys! I'm going back to Reddit and posting first on everything. <laughs> Look at this! Um, Look at this Warhound building his, his command center. This is just. Weird looking. <laughs> He's just sitting there. Something unnatural about it. Yeah. This day, I feel like I did not play enough StarCraft on this day in history. Dude, I remember. I remember calling you on April Fools and just being like, "What is going on? All I see are warhounds. Is this supposed to be a thing?" And you're like, "It's April Fools." Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> you're like, "Why? <laughs> Why are my probes warhounds? I don't know what's going on." It was so distracting hearing them go like, "Yep, work done." Like weird Warcraft 3 type voices coming from no. the Warhound on April Fool's No Day. Warhound! That's a mothership core! Run away! <laughs> anyway, guys, we're sorry to, to be bullshitting this early in the game, but you can see what's going on. There's really nothing crazy uh, in the production tab, just production buildings and Nexus these are, and command centers. Finally, gas coming down for MMA. These are Relatively slow expansions for a whirlwind match. Uh, Super just wanted to be safe against some kind of a weird Terran 1111 Rex or something. So he didn't go Nexus first, but here we see Mothership Corps making excessive amount of noises attacking these bricks. That's a loud sound, isn't it? <laughs> the weirdest thing about this. Just wants to make sure you know it's attacking. Super's going pretty greedy with this robotics and forge. He's, uh,. I mean, if he goes for a plus one attack uh, with Immortals, it's going to be pretty damaging to whatever the M MMA has, and he's a bio player, so if, um, if Super actually knows this, he can do something to seriously damage it by going for Colossi pretty early, which looks like he might be doing. But yeah, I think he may very well drop a relatively fast bay. Um, it's, it's not Super Greedy. Super Greedy would be Double Forge. This is only one. Yeah, uh, it's still... So kind of, kind of, kind of matching the Terran in blows here, who has his engineering bay going for plus one attack. Like you said, MMA is a bio player. Everyone knows that about MMA. Uh, yeah. He didn't even go mech against Terran. He, you know, back when Marine Siege Tank was the norm, he's like, no, I'm making Marauders. I don't care. Yeah. And nowadays, um, wow, this is pretty decent Artosis pylon coming from Super with all of his tech around it. There's still no no bay. He doesn't drop. He just finally dropped the two gases at his natural, so he'll be able to to afford that bay relatively soon. Uh, just marines out he of MMA may, and stem on. He may take a third around the same time too. Um, 
Observer coming in, just taking a peek at what's going on. Sees the bunker at the top of the ramp and just Marines. He's going to have a good idea of what's happening behind this. Missile turret just far enough away that it's going to be able to see whatever DTs come in, if there are any. But I don't think he's. I don't think uh, MMA has scanned. And uh, just as I say that, he scans and sees all that's happening. Yeah, I'm relatively sure DTs aren't in the plan. Uh, like I said, probably a third base. He did not see. And the yeah, he saw that it was Plus working. Plus armor, he's making an immortal. I guess anticipating Marauders. But uh, some more gateways coming in. He's gonna move on to the map a little bit. We have the starport coming in, so drops are about to be inbound for MMA as he takes his third base. Uh, I'm sure, pretty sure the Nexus will be taken pretty soon by Super, but uh, MMA is already pre-scouting that location. An immortal sentry push. He's actually seeing. Yep, yeah. his observer sees the third going up, and he, he gets guess he decided to move out. He's got a pylon moving, kind of in the middle of the map. Another one farther forward, ready to go up. Just um, Mar Marines is not going to help in this. He needs a couple Marauders, if, if only for the extra range, because oh, he Immortals moves in have a six range just and to Marines zap that, five. Just to zap that, Mar or Warhound rather, making the command center at the third, uh, delaying that. He pulls the SCVs, getting ready for this attack, but he's going to lose these two supply depots and become supply blocked, or at least soft capped. And his two, his concussive yeah. shell and Ooh. combat shield are not in yet, but he is losing SCVs I don't know eight so far. Attack. This attack may or may not continue. He might just try to contain him here, or he might try to break that. Uh, depends on how he feels, I guess. There's no major. He's continuing to warp in, so no I think he might actually try to push in a little uh, bit more. Upgrades. There's the robotics bay behind this. After seeing all of these no marauders. Time warps, Ooh, really good force time fields, right there. it's going to lose the Mothership core, but I think this might be the end of it. The SCV's trying to get in there and tank, Ooh. but look at all of the units that were trapped in those force fields. He, he yeah, just he lifts just up and pulls out. He has to pick them up and back off, and he's going to lose this armor everything upgrade. everything that's still left on the front is dying. Oh, great force field, holding off some of those Warhounds, <laughs> and this is going to be the end of M MMA in still, the game two. Yeah. Look at that. Still has an uncompleted command center and good game. Immortal Sentry. Too strong of an attack. The thing that took parting to Turns the out World it's Championship. Still pretty good. All right, guys, that was a quick game too. Uh, Super taking the win, his second one for MVP, and this they lead the series right now 2-0. We're gonna jump into the third game on Cloud Kingdom in this Acer Team Story Cup match three in just a second. From Chaotic TV, I'm Kale. <laughs> this is Eclipse. Always laughing. We're gonna laugh ourselves right into game three. See you soon. And dyslexics of the world untie. Quickly, another map before your brain leaves any more.